Introduce yourself. Harry Fitzpatrick, Post 174. Joseph Fricker, Commander, American Legion, Post 174. Mike Barr, Post 428, North Haven. Catholic Charities, Veteran Services. Donna Velasquez, Vice Commander, Post 174. John Harris, Passaic County Veteran Service Officer. Mrs. Perez, widow of her own veteran. Staff Perez, Mary Ann Sullivan. Ed Kaiser, member of Post 170. Christian Prado, I'm Senator for the 40th District. Bob Kruger, SAL Post 170. Dennis Luddy, Bergen County American Legion Service Officer, also in Post 170. I told you before, before we started, you know, you got a serious look on your face, like we're here for serious business, right? Yeah. And I played American Legion baseball, you know, which was fun. But this does not seem like to be, uh, like we're here, gathered here for fun today. We're here to take care of business, yes? Correct, yes. What business is that? Uh, to save the family of the veterans home. Is that important? Extremely important. Why? Because family takes care of family. Nice. All right. And listen, um... We talk about family, and you mentioned family, and we have a family here. We have a mother and a son, correct? Correct. Right. Uh, introduce yourself one more time. Stan Perez. And who's your mom? Mary Ann Perez. All right, and what are we doing here? Where are we at, and what are we doing? We're in Wayne, New Jersey, at my mom's residence, trying to uh, shine light on the crisis that New Jersey is facing today, which is foreclosures, especially among uh, local income, low income families and veterans, and uh, their families and widows and spouses that are going, might be going through difficult times. And we're trying to share some light on it, on the crisis that, 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 that's been happening for a few years now. Wait, in New Jersey? I thought only home, you know, home mortgage foreclosure only happened in urban, in urban areas, right? The poor and now uh, minorities. foreclosures are happening in any, any suburban area in, in the state, regardless of the county or, or where they are. And what do you think about that? It's kind of devastating. And why, wait, why? Because you would think that by living in New Jersey, close to New York, and the area that we are, we do have more opportunities for work and employment. And people have to work two, three jobs to, to maintain what they're having. And you know, when you hear about foreclosing on your home, it's kind of, it's very stressful and very confusing. You don't know where to, which way to go, which way to turn. And there's really not much information or outlets for you to seek out or, or try to figure out which what's your first step to make. And I asked, uh, asked you before, I asked you, uh, who's your mom, but uh, who was your dad? Jose Perez. He was a Vietnam veteran. He served from 1968 to 71. He was a Purple Heart recipient. Um, <clears throat> he was in the Army. Uh, he was a marksman um, of his, of his, of his uh, unit. Um, he was a very family man. He would give you the back off his shirt. He would do whatever he can for his family, as long as his friends. If he saw you on the street that was hungry, he would give you a dollar, buy you some food. And, um, you know, part of part of what makes us very ups, upset and frustrated is knowing that, you know, seeing that my mom's going through something like this. And, uh, and he's, he, if he was around, I know that he would try to fight his hardest mm -hmm. and try his best to, to make sure that, you know, we would overcome this or, or at least have an opportunity for, for something to come good from it. When did your bad dad pass away? In 2009. When did he purchase this home? In 1998. 1998. Right, so you're talking about uh, 19 years, 11, 10 year, 11 year span. Yes. In between. Sir. Okay. And uh, right here, you see today, uh, all the elected officials and, and uh, volunteers and also members of the military, right? Brothers and sisters in arms are out here banding together to try to help your mom, you know, and yourself save this house. What do you want to say? Just about, I mean, what's the outcome? I mean, what do you want to see come out of this? Well, I mean, the biggest outcome would be see to have an opportunity to get to have her stay in this home because this is my last my last will of my father to give her my mother this home, and then you know to, to see that she has something for herself and for us to get a mortgage to stay here, and hopefully by showing support for, from the local legionnaires in, in, in the area. You know, I'm very, we're very grateful and very appreciative to show to, to see that we have their help and we have their their, 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 their support on this subject. And um, you know, we, we are very grateful for everyone that's participating and everyone that's involved. But you know, we just we just want to stay here. It's, it's, it's something that my dad left to us. You know. Okay. I'm gonna stop right.